Uh, Trent, obviously, pretty disappointing result. Started really well, got the first two goals of the game, and uh, didn't quite pan out how you would have liked from there, unfortunately. Yeah, they um, cranked up their pressure a bit, and um, we sort of just, you know, gave the ball back to them way too easily, and then they um, sliced us up on the on the on the counter attack, and yeah, I think what they win by ten goals or something in the end. So yeah, as you said, disappointing result. When, when there aren't too many forward entries, I think it was just about double their inside 50s in the first half. What, what do you feel uh, you can do to, you know, to try to uh, prevent, I guess, you know, the, the blowout or just try to make it a little bit better? What, what was your focus after it started to turn a bit? Yeah, well, I was trying to take care of uh, um, one of their dangerous players in uh, Hawley. Um, just to try to stop his link-up run, so stop his inside 50s and stuff like that. Um, but just in, from a team basis, we just need to get a contest down the line, get it out of bounds, reset and start again. So we can, you know, then have representation back in front of the ball and then hopefully, you know, we win, win the ball out of, out of the midfield stoppage and then get it going forward. Did keep him pretty quiet. Obviously, he was just about best on ground last week, so he did, did well there. Uh, and obviously, another... Another positive from your game, particularly, was um, you know tackling pressure. I think you had about seven or eight tackles, and the team won the tackle count, which is always probably a good sign and indicates that the effort's there, even if you know the scoreboard doesn't show it at the end of the day. Yeah, we um, you know had a pretty clear focus of trying to tackle them to death this week. Uh, I'm not sure if we reached our target or not, but yeah, I had uh, I think I had seven myself, which is yeah, it's pretty much my role in a nutshell. Seven seven tackles, five shots on goal was nice. Um, just hopefully kick a bit straighter next week. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but as I said, that's pretty much my role, you know, put a bit of pressure on and then try hit the scoreboard when I can. Yeah. Uh, and the dock is pretty pretty tough challenge next week. How do you go about preparing for that? Uh, we just got to stay positive as a group. Obviously, it's going to be a big test going over to Patterson Stadium over in the west. It would be nice to get back home for me. But, uh, yeah, like... We can't, um, we can't just play one quarter of footy like we did today. Otherwise, we'll get a similar result, and uh, it's not what we're after. OK, thanks very much for your time. No worries, mate. Cheers. Hi, I'm Nick Del Sano. Here at St Kilda, we do lots of drills. <laughs> but not as many drills as Ozito have sold. In 2013, join us in celebrating Ozito's 20-year anniversary. Let's, Let's get, get together, together and give it a go, go with, with Ozito. Ozito. <laughs>